Hi everyone, welcome to Themes Code. Today in this video training, I'll show you how to install OM server on Windows 10 computer. Using OM server, you can get a web server on your computer and start making a website locally. So, you can see I have recently published an article on our website on how to install OM server on Windows 10 computer. You can follow this article along with the video that will help you to install the server perfectly okay if you come over here on this blog article and here you can see all the necessary content and the steps the firstly you will have to download om server okay to download om server here you will see a link and i will provide the link in the video description also just click on the link it will send you here omserver.com and here you can see a download button if you click on that you will be sent here here you will see two options 64 bit and 32 bit if you run 64 bit operating system then this option will be for you if you run 32 bit operating system then this option will be for you i'm running 64 bit option just click on here here you can see a pop-up just click on this link to download it directly here you can see we are sent here sourceforce.net project and a large download button just click on it and here you can see the progress and here you can see the download begins okay i'm going to cancel it as i have downloaded already so now i'm going to just uh, check some prerequisition here you can see OM server needs some packages Visual Composer 9, 10, 13, 14, and 15. If you have already installed all these packages, then you are good to go. If you don't have installed all of this, just follow this link and go to the Microsoft official website to download Visual Composer or Visual C from here okay how you can say that you have already installed all of this okay let me show you just go to the search bar of your computer and search for control panel here it is just open up and here you can see uninstall a program click on it and from here you will see microsoft visual c plus plus i have already installed 10 12 13 17 okay all of this so let's begin so we are going to move to the downloads folder here it is and you can see i have already downloaded om server so what i'm going to do is just right click on it and run as administrator just click on it okay this is the first step what i'm going to do is just click ok to select the english language and here you can see the license agreement and i'm going to check this first one to agree it and finally click next and here goes the requirements that we talked about already so hit next and here goes the location i'm going to install it on the c drive so just click next and here select the component from here you can select the psp version you would like to install and the mariadb version okay i'm going to leave all of this default and click next and here goes the folder menu you can customize the menu name or leave it default click next and now we are ready to install the program just click install now button and here you can see the progress okay at this moment here you can see it asked to select the default browser okay i'm going to select uh, yes if you would like to browse your system to choose any browser but you can easily click no to avoid it then it asks to select the text editor but i'm going to select no we will use the default okay now click next and we are done we have successfully installed om server now click finish okay friends now we have successfully installed om server so let's see how we can access it go to the search box and search for warm and here it is click on it 
and on the system tray here you will see this icon okay om server just click on it and here you will see the om server menu okay friends here you can see some crucial menus start all service stop all service and restart all service and here you can see green icon that means om server is running perfectly if i stop it just click here stop all service now you can see it is red and if something goes wrong then it may shows yellow color or orange color so i'm going to restart all services so it will be green again from the system to click on it and here you can see local host just click on local host and here you will see the warm server landing page you can get it on your favorite browser just search for http dot localhost and just i'm going to get the link and open up my favorite browser google chrome i'm going to paste the link and hit enter and here it is okay friends now the question is how we can get the default directory where we will create the php file to create our website or where we will install wordpress okay the easiest way to click on the system tray and click on it and here you can see www directory just click on it and it will open up the default directory and here you can see all the files if you create a folder here just create my site then it will create a website okay again go back to the browser after localhost i'm going to duplicate it i'm going to type localhost dot my site hit enter here goes it okay now we are going to create access this folder and create a new file okay create a new file index and rename the file extension to php hit enter okay now here you can see i have created it okay so write php code i'm going to print echo hello local server i'm going to save this file and now if i browse the site and reload it here you can see hello local server okay friends if you create any database drive and application you will have to access php my admin and here goes the link just click on it and open a new tab and you will get the uh, php my admin interface just the user is root and password is empty and click go and here goes php my admin interface and click new to create a database test db and hit create okay now we have created a database and accessed warm server okay click on the link and here you will see some setting options you can configure a uh, warm server a uh, lots of setting options on the internet you will find the solution if you would like to change the version of php you can select from here okay so that's all i believe i could show you how you can install warm server and easily create a php file that's all if this video helped you don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel to get latest videos thank you for watching hope to see you again goodbye